Let's create an additional sun for global illumination. To do this, press Alt, click Direct Light and rotate the sun. Creating a copy of it, change the angle so that it looks like the blue reveal light is coming from the sky. Let's change the intensity to lower, 10, and change the source angle to 50. The higher this value, the larger the sun is. The shadows are too sharp now. The shadows are getting blurry. The higher these values, the larger the disk of the sun is. Let's turn off the effect of the firmament by removing the Affects World checkbox. An update is in progress. The shadows became more saturated. For clarity, I'll turn off the effect of the second sun. Now you can see the project without it. And now with it. You can see that the second sun gives a more physically correct result. Let's increase the value of the second sun from 1 to 1.5. Find skylight, click the checkbox Affects World. Click Light Color. Change the color of the sky. In this way, the character of the reflection can be changed. I will show you how we can copy any color. For example, now I've copied the color by right-clicking Copy and then putting it back. This is also convenient to use in the base color, material color. In this way you can choose some other color. 